Monday night. So before. well trained. <laughs> uh, welcome to the live stream audience on Concert Window. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're new to Concert Window, a couple things that I want you to notice. There's a way to make a donation to the band, and I want to talk a little bit about that. You're here at the crib in Herndon, Virginia. You're, you're tuning into the space we have here. We've got about 40 or so people, capacity crowd. And the way we operate at the crib is everything that you pay to come in goes straight to the band. That's what we do here. So Concert Window allows that opportunity to those that are viewing the live stream. You don't have to do it, but that opportunity is open to you. We sure hope that you take advantage of it. Uh, if you want to see the other shows that we do here, cribconcerts.com. There's a schedule out there. You can see what's coming and you can see what we've done in the past. This is about our eighth uh, live stream, but it's the first time we're coming through Concert Window, so, so welcome to everyone. Special welcome to my sister, Maureen, in Arizona. I love you, girl. <laughs> I got to do that. Uh, the, the, uh, the audience in the room here has already had a great set from the Currys, and we're going to give you the second set now live. So it's going to be one big happy family watching the show. I know these guys are excited to get started, so without any further delay, please welcome back to the stage the Currys. <laughs>
to you. And uh, everyone <laughs> out there in, in uh, cyberspace, which is probably just uh, Chris's sister Maureen and my Aunt Betty. Hey, Mom. <laughs> hey, Aunt Betty. Yeah. <laughs> that was a new song of ours. That uh, was called Fault Lines. That's going to be on the new record, uh, hopefully. Um, <laughs> Oh, we'll see what, we'll we see what happens. We have some say over that. <laughs> we do, yeah. There could be some kind of weird uh, emergency where someone like drops the tape on the way to like the, the mastering station or something. We didn't record the tape. Yeah, yeah. We, didn't, we didn't do tape. Yeah, I wasn't there for most of it. <clears throat> We're going to play another new one. This one's called uh, uh, Pin You Down. Ready? window uh, shows before and before we've, we've never done one where someone else is manning the uh, the cameras and the screen so usually it's the three of us sitting on like a bed in someone's bedroom and we're all constantly Too looking down at, yeah look really close to the camera <laughs> someone's usually a little bit out of frame and we're like constantly looking down and seeing what people are saying and messing up the song so it's nice to just mess up the song on our own this time yeah. <laughs> yeah. it feels good it feels liberating <laughs> thank you guys for letting us do that <laughs> Yeah. Do uh, any, Chris, do you have any cool comments back there? No, not yet. No comments. Just silence. Awesome. Good. You guys are welcome to yeah. comment or yeah. sing along. Although if you're at home, we won't know. 
if you're singing along. But still, go for it. Uh, yeah. Really? This song is one of the first songs that we ever started perform first original songs that we ever uh, performed together. It's an old tune of Jimmy's on our first record called Water from the Well. Right after uh, right after Bad Moon Rising with three acoustic guitars. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone is singing in unison. You guys are just lucky you caught us in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for knowing so well. 
you guys. Uh, we're, uh, we told you guys already, but we're, uh, we're working on our third record right now. I'm looking at the cameras. <laughs> we're working on a, uh, just sit tight. working live, on our third record right just hang now. hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on our third record right now, and, uh, so we're, we're trying some new songs out here at the, uh, at the crib, and, uh, we're gonna play a couple more new ones. Um, we're, this is, this is two kind of mashed together in a medley. We and wrote a mashup. Yeah. How very 2018 of us. There you go. Probably like 2010. Yeah. <laughs> when, when I was in the, when a I was little in the, late. When I was in college, I was in a band called Ultraviolet Ballet, and we opened for uh, a band called Girl Talk, and he's like a mashup, mash, DJ mashup guy, and I feel like that was like the height of his popularity, and I haven't seen or heard of him since that moment, and that yeah, was this. in 2000. Seven? I think so. I, was a, I think I was a freshman at uh, yeah. Mary. He had shirts that said, uh, uh, "Not a, I'm not a DJ" or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause he's not a DJ. He's so much more. <laughs> yeah. It was actually I had a great time. It was a sweaty show. It was yeah. sweaty. That's Very for sure. Sweaty. That's cool. This is a song about uh, about uh, being jealous of someone else's dance moves. It sort of ties right into that. It's a dance <laughs> oh show. Yeah. Yeah. Full circle here. We should, uh, we should write that down this for next is, uh, show. Yeah. Yeah, great tangent. Uh, yeah, this is a song about being uh, jealous of someone else's dance moves, and so you have to resort to name calling. It's a little, uh, it's, uh, here you go. Thought nothing of it, go and dance with him. He's a little pudgy, and his arms are thin. Probably pushing 40, and his nose is more of a snow. Swiveled his hips and pulled you in Just to spin you right back out again Praying for his back to break When he dips you on down On oh, what am I supposed to do When I just can't dance the way I can with you Ooh, ooh some moves but not that many until tonight they always seem like many once or twice i've been told i could really get down now the beat's a little fast the bass is too loud plus i tweak my ankle i should go sit down i am no wallflower baby but i ain't no clown
This one's called uh, Firestarter. Cool. So I think in all we'll probably be cut off on this one. A couple more? Yeah, we'll see. One and a half. 
Mm. So I have no actual idea if this is true, but it's entirely possible that my mom is watching right now. Hi, mom. Tommy's mom coming over there. There's a lot of money around that. said a lot of money. I just want you to know that. But it's not enough, so feel free, you know. It's the address is 1328. The... Not over the internet, Tommy. Um, so, uh, this is a song I wrote for my mom on our last album called Bone and Blood. It's about how big a pain in the butt your kids can be growing up. Who's your mom going to be on this album? <laughs> Uh, I, I, liked it. I liked it. I thought it was good. They didn't really like it. But I, didn't like it. <laughs> I bet the people at home are laughing like crazy right now. <laughs> when you Monsters in the dark, and when first you fall and break your heart, well, I will be your blanket, I will be your anchor from the very start. When you learn the pains of growing up, when they splash vinegar into your guts. Hang in there, guys. Yeah. We have time, just enough time for a little story. 
<laughs> so check it out. There's this. Uh, we talked to this. We talk to this cop frequently who kind of lives near us in, in Charlottesville. We live in Charlottesville these days, Charlottesville, Virginia. And uh, he was telling me this story about uh, this time he uh, he pulled over a school bus. This was in Central Virginia, and he pulled over the school bus because it was uh, it was full of penguins. There was a penguin in every window, and he stopped the guy and he asked him. He said. Uh, Dude, you can't have penguins in a school bus driving around. Like, you got to take these things to the zoo. And there, and he was like, "Okay, yes, sir. I'll take them right to the zoo." And uh, drove off. Didn't think anything of it. I mean, he thought a lot about it, but uh, he didn't do anything else about it. He didn't fire, file any paperwork or anything. Uh, so then, a couple days later, he sees the same school bus, and there's a bunch of penguins in the windows, and they all have sunglasses on now. So he stops the, the stops the school bus. He says, "Dude, I told you to take these things to the zoo." And he said, "We did go to the zoo." This time we're going to the beach. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, people at home. Pittsburgh fans. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, this song's called Good or Bad. Come on.
Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. It's <laughs> weird, I've heard that one before. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think that's what it's about, though. I think yeah. you enjoyed that. <clears throat> Yeah, it was probably about something else. Yeah, it was uh, the but, tuning, I think. Thanks for editorializing there, Chris. You know what, though? I, it, 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 let's crowdsource some uh, some dad jokes. So, it, listeners out at home, if you have better dad jokes than that one, which is if you've ever heard a joke before, uh, just, type, just type them in the comments and send them our way, and we'll uh, try to throw them away before Galen reads them. If you can't think of anything, remember that you have Google at your fingertips. <laughs> so. This is a song about waking up on an interstate highway. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four, and... Well, I came to it in a parking lot And I didn't know my name In a southwest Georgia service stop I almost made my green I carry call particular Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, Mom. Bye. Thanks, everyone, for joining us on the live stream. Everyone, let's say bye to the, uh, the people. For, uh, thanks for joining us here at the crib. Cool. Are they gone? <laughs>